Very happy to be here. So, as you find your sit bones, and then uh, wriggle, and make sure they get buried into the earth, and then find your spine, neutralize the pelvis, and the spine straight up out of that. The back of the head is in line with your spine, so your chin is parallel to the floor. Top of the head reaches for the sky. Put the left hand down in our lap, Put the right hand over the top of that. You can actually touch the thumbs together if you'd like. If you can see that. Okay. And we'll sit here for a little bit. And as we breathe, we're going to start to breathe uh, longer breaths, deeper breaths, higher breaths. And then exhale, keep them slow, slow, slow. So just let's take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then sigh it out. And do that again. Hold it for just a moment. Sigh it out. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. One more time. Deep inhale. Hold it. Sip it up. Hold it. When you sigh it out, very slowly. Bring yourself into you. Keep your face soft, eyeballs are closed. Leave everything else outside of the room that doesn't belong here and begin to breathe into your body. Prepare for your practice. Bring in towards the spine. So breathe into the heart center as you as you will. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Make sure that you don't have your torso pitched forward or anything. Walk back and forth a little bit to make sure you're just exactly where you want to be in your sit. Breathe in as deeply as you possibly can. Bring that breath up and over the top of the head and into your third eye. And exhale it out and down the back of the head, the neck, spine. Allow it to bury itself into the earth. And then bring it up again. Count it a little bit longer, see if you can elongate. Really allow your exhale to just linger, okay? Don't force it out. Very gently breathe out.
wherever you are. One more deep inhale and exhale, slowly. And at the bottom of your exhale, let's bring the hands together at the heart center. Touch your thumbs right into the sternum. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, bow your head. Bring your shoulders down on your back. Just bow in honor of you, in honor of your practice today. And for just a moment, send out your thoughts. Send out your highest vibration to all the people on this planet that are suffering right now. can dedicate our practice to them today. All of the people that are suffering right now. And as you exhale, allow the hands to come out to the knees, palms up, raise your face, open your eyes very gently, coming into the room, take the arms up for some movement, inhale it up, exhale forward, reach it out as far as you can, take it out to the fingertips, straight arms, and kind of wriggle, eat your side body. Out, 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 as you walk the fingers away, maybe a little bit more. And then two deep inhales into the belly. Let your neck and your head relax completely. Keep your arms straight. Good, at the bottom of your exhale, pull the belly in. Walk the hands back towards your torso. Stack one vertebra on top of the other until the top of the head reaches for the sky. Take your time, bringing it all the way up. Yeah, and then change the cross of your legs. Inhale and lift. Exhale, forward fold. Move into the hips and the low back just a bit. Now kind of wriggle it out as you walk the fingers away. Take a deep inhale, exhale, let your head and neck just drop, and then breathe in your belly a couple times. Mm -hmm. And again. Mm. At the bottom of the exhale, pull the belly in first. Walk the hands back towards your torso. Stack one vertebra on top of the other, very slowly, very mindfully and work your way until the top of the head reaches for the sky once again. Oh, good job. Let's take this right hand to the left knee and your left hand behind. Inhale, lift and lengthen, looking straight ahead. Exhale, take a quarter of a turn to the left. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, another quarter of a turn. Try to take your navel with you for a nice twist. Once again, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, another turn. Take it however deeply you care to. Look over your left shoulder, one round of breath. And then deep inhale. Exhale, bring it back around to the front and change sides. Inhale, look straight ahead, lift. Exhale, quarter of a turn. Take your navel with you. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, another quarter of a turn. Work it around, work your shoulders around. Inhale, lift. Exhale, one more turn. Just use your hands and take it as far as you care to. Look over that right shoulder. One round of breath. Good. And then a deep inhale. And on the exhale, come back around to the front. Nice. Let's take these legs out in front and shake them out. Good. Up and down the IT band here. Make sure everything's flowing nicely. 
and then separate your feet, I don't know, a foot maybe, and I want you literally to kind of relax your body. Go ahead and sit with your shoulders folded forward and stuff, and I want you to roll your ankles. And in fact, take the entire legs with the ankles, roll them out and in, make a circle with your toes. Mm -hmm. and bring them in one more time and out as far as they go and then bring them in. And then from here, uh, reverse it by taking them out and up and circle them down. And your whole leg is rolling to the side and then the knee comes up and, and then the knees face each other as you roll, right? The entire legs are involved in this. Not just your ankles, we're doing the legs as well. Okay, and then bring the feet together, flex those feet and lift through the spine, pull the belly in, lift right through the sternum here. Inhale the arms up, exhale. We're gonna come forward as in, uh, Oh my, as in Uttanasana, sitting on the floor. Keep the arms back by your ears, okay? Deep inhale, lift and lengthen. Pull the belly in and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bring it forward another couple of inches. Mm -hmm. Lengthen out. One more, deep inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, bring it forward as though the top of the head is being pulled towards your toes. And then your hands come to wherever they go, on the outside of the feet or the ankles or shins. And then I like to put my hands over the top of my toes and wrap my fingers right around the balls of the feet. Take a deep inhale, look up and lengthen, pull the shoulders back, and then exhale and fold it forward and drop your head this time. Point your toes or point the balls of the feet forward to lengthen through your hamstrings and the low back, through the shoulders. On the inhale, flex your feet and let the shoulders come back and lift your head up and lengthen once again. On the exhale, press through the balls of the feet to bring the hands, the arms towards the feet Lengthen through the spine, drop your head. And then on your inhale, flex the feet, lift the head, try to put it right on, just plug it into your spine, your neck. Take a deep inhale, one more time. Exhale, press the balls of the feet into the palms of the hand. Lengthen, feel the armpits, get that stretch. And then this time, keep your head lowered. Breathe deeply into your belly. Keep the toes pointed as such, right through the balls of the feet. Arms are long and strong. Maybe on each exhale, you'll feel the top of the head lengthen towards your toes, maybe. Two more of those. And your hamstrings are getting a nice deep stretch. Complete back body stretch, right? And then as you're ready, lift the head up first. Let's flex the feet to bring the shoulders back and straighten through the spine. Roll your neck right off the top of it, right? And then walk the hands towards you, pull the belly in as you come up to a nice high seat. Pick the knees up, take these feet out to the side. Let's do a nice straddle stretch. Oh gosh. Hands come behind you. And we will open up the heart, shoulders down your back, bend into the elbows, scoop the shoulder blades under your heart center and lift. And breathe. Top of the head, someone's pulling the string up, up and away. Breathe and lift your heart center up and keep stretching through the neck. Take one more deep inhale. On your exhale, bring the head up first to get your bearings. Don't move anything else. Feet are still flexed, legs are active. 
Walk your hands towards your torso as you come up to straight, up and down, flat back, and then bring the hands forward. And we're gonna walk it forward now, however far you wanna go. Okay, so say you start pretty close in and you work your legs. Press through the balls of the feet, but flex the, feet, the toes, right? Push through the heels of the feet and flex the toes. And work on that, that stretch through the groin area, the, the inner thighs. Work on that for just a few moments, okay? And breathe into it. Pull the belly in, protect your low back. And while you're here then, get your breath going in such a nice rhythm that suddenly maybe your torso will come down a little closer towards the floor, towards the earth. And you can come down maybe to your elbows. Maybe, maybe not. And if you can't, that's fine too. Just be wherever it is for you and focus on these inner thighs and the stretch that you're getting through the low back and hips. Continue to breathe. Keep your head growing off your spine. Don't drop your head. You don't want it to get heavy. And keep your legs active. Maybe on each exhale, maybe you'll go down an eighth of an inch or something closer towards the earth. Wherever your stretch is, breathe into it, and that's good. Just take it right to the edge as you work, pushing through the heels, flexing the toes. One more deep inhale. And on the exhale, I want you to start walking towards the right side. Just walk your hands over, keep your torso low. Plant your right hand down in front of your right leg, in front of that calf. And then reach out with the left to the fingertips. Reach way out as far as you can and get a stretch to that left side body. Breathe into the left lung. Take it into the nose and out through the mouth. Nice and slow. And then we're gonna walk it over. As you come through center, notice the difference between the two sides. And then as you get to the left side, you're gonna settle your left hand down in front of your calf and reach out with that right to the fingertips. Breathe in your right lung. And feel the stretch through the arm and the armpit and down that right side body. Press through the right sit bone. Legs are still very active. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Feel that lovely, lovely stretch. One more deep inhale. Exhale, allow the torso to go wherever it wants to go. And then walk yourself back towards center. Once again, take your time. Wherever your hands are, push into them and lift up. Straighten out through the spine. Lengthen through the top of the head. And this time, we're going to walk the hands forward a little bit more, maybe. Maybe not. See if you can manage. And as you breathe, take it down a little bit more, maybe. Wherever your body wants to go today, just Focus on your inner thighs and that groin area for the stretch and focus on your low back. Feel that it's straight out, okay, that you're hinged at the hips, at the hip flexors rather than at your waist. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, allow your body to go wherever it wants to. And make sure the belly is pulled in. 
and then walk your hands back towards the torso. Stack one vertebra on top of the other. You're coming up with a flat back all the way until the top of the head reaches for the sky. Woo, nice. Let's take the arms out to the side. Okay, palms are down. Now turn the palms open up to the sky and lift, bring them together at the top. Just look up to your thumbs and your arms. Keep your shoulders down your back, pull the belly. Exhale, taking the arms down, palms up. One more time, inhale, lift. Looking up on the exhale, we're gonna just bring the hands to the heart center in Namaste. Be here for a moment, breathe. Next thing you know, you'll be levitating off the ground because you're breathing so deeply. One more deep inhale. Mm -hmm. And on the exhale, release the hands, go to the other side of your knees, bend the knees and bring the soles of the feet together and rock and roll side to side. You take those knees down to the mat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then as you come to center, we're gonna butterfly the knees, just up and down, up and down, up and down. And then as you push down, I want you to lengthen through the spine, lift the heart up, pull the shoulders down your back and come to a very high seat, pushing the knees down towards the mat. And then release that spine and butterfly the knees, just a little bit. And again, pressing the knees out and down, shoulders down your back as you lift the top of the head, up, 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 up. Breathe. And then we're gonna let the feet go a little bit further away. Just send them out another few inches, five or six inches. Hang on to these ankles. First, we're gonna do a cat-cow stretch. So inhale, look up, open your heart. Uh-huh, and arch your back. Exhale, pull back with your low back or your upper back and round your shoulders and drop your head. Inhale, looking up, arch the back, open your heart. Exhale, bring it back. Let the shoulders round, drop your chin. One more time, inhale, coming forward. Arch the back up, lift, 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 exhale. Bring it down, round those shoulders. Oh, get a good stretch between the shoulders. And then as you come forward, lift nice and straight and tall. And then we're gonna start to walk the hands. I like to take mine to the toes, okay, with long spine here. Take it out as far as you can. Maybe your knees will go, or your elbows might even go on your knees if you'd like to press into those. Keep the spine long and reach the top of your head out, out, and away, and then bring it down however deeply it wants to go. And once you get to a place that you're, you feel like you're right there, right on the edge, without, without rounding your back, breathe. Lengthening through that spine, breathe. And on this exhale now, allow your head and neck to drop. Get your hands out of your way, put them up at your toes or something, and then just drop and round your back. Drop your shoulders, breathe into your belly here. Allow the entire rib cage to open and close. Let your head drop, relax the neck, even shake it side to side a little bit, make sure it's relaxed. Breathe right between those shoulder blades. Good. Now, one more inhale. And at the bottom of the exhale, pull the belly in first. Keep your head dropped, walk your hands and round up. Stack one vertebra on top of the other, pull that belly, protect your low back until the top of the head reaches for the sky. Ah.
Ah, nice. Okay, let's come in the table. <clears throat> Hands and knees. Make sure all the knuckles are flat on the mat as best you can. And walk the knees just a little bit back of your hips, okay? Lengthen through the spine. Top of the head reaches straight ahead. Tailbone goes straight back. Inhale, look up and arch your back. Mm -hmm. Stretch your belly. Exhale, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Come into a cat stretch. Push the mat away. Inhale, arch the back. Mm. Exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Push the mat away. One more time. Inhale, look up. Mm -hmm. Exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Pull the back leg up. Now, stay in your cat stretch here. Glide your hips back towards your heels. Don't go all the way down to the heels. Just glide back and keep grounded so your head is dropped. And then neutralize your pelvis. Lift your head up and lengthen through your spine. And then glide back into your table. Mm -hmm. Nice, strong table. Shoulders directly over your hands. And again, one more time. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, round the back for your cat stretch. Tuck your tailbone. Push the mat away. Stay here. Now glide it back to an ugly cat or a, a very mean cat, <laughs> angry cat. There we go. Breathe. And then we're going to neutralize the pelvis first. Then lift the head and lengthen through the spine. And we're going to glide forward once again. This time we're going to come down to the elbows. Hands are straight ahead. Okay, you ready for this? I can't we're see. Toes under, and we're going to come in the dolphin right away. So just pick your hips up, lift it high, pull the belly in, push back on your elbows and forearms. And then on the exhale, very gently bring those knees down. Mm -hmm. And then be here for just a moment. Drop your head. Just drop your head. In fact, Bring your hands back towards your shoulders and put your head on the mat and roll up to the very top of your head. Okay, just roll right up to the top of your head. Now massage the top of your head. Just circle it around one direction and you'll feel it. The crown chakra, get some energizing there and then take it the other direction Circle around, gives a little massage. Mm -hmm. Good. And then, as you press into the hands, bring the elbows forward once again. Curl the toes under if they're not already there. Pick your hips up, find your dolphin, and push into the arms. To press yourself back. Nice, strong pressure. Good, and then the knees are gonna come down again this time. We're gonna sit back on the heels this time. Bring the hands back by your feet and just round over here, like a little cocoon. Breathe here for just a moment. Allow your back to get a nice stretch through the shoulders. The neck relaxes. Breathe into the nose, out the mouth. Breathe it into your belly one more time. Push it into your thighs. Good. And then your hands are going to come forward. We're going to reach out straight ahead. Arms are straight. Spread your fingers wide. And then lift your torso up through tabletop. Curl the toes under. Pick your hips up. This time we're on the hands so that we can push back to downward facing dog. So just push it all the way back as best you can. Let your neck relax. Shake it yes and no. Pull the belly in, fly the tailbone, shoulders down your back, okay? So you kind of roll the shoulders flat on the back. Triceps curl under and up. Breathe. 
Bend your left knee, push through that right heel and find that right calf. Push your hips back more. And then switch, mindfully walk this dog. Press through your left heel, find the calf of that leg. And then switch, exhale, through that right calf. Inhale, stretch the heel back on the left and find that left calf. Just push the hips back. And then come to a full downward facing dog. Lengthen through your spine. Fly the tailbone high. Breathe. Now we're going to walk the feet to the outside edges of this mat. And you can just hang your head and look at your feet, okay? And then walk your hands maybe uh, two or three inches towards your torso, towards your feet. And then when you find a solid place to be, take the shoulders down your back again and push your tailbone, fly it high. Breathe. Let your head just hang. Be relaxed. Now we're going to step into that left hand. We're going to take this right hand to the left ankle or shin and look underneath that left arm. Just for one breath, and then as you release the right hand, press it back where it was, get it nice and stable. Pick your left hand up, wrap it around your right ankle or shin or calf, whatever, and then look underneath this right arm and breathe. As you exhale, you can bring that left arm back. Where it belongs, walk your feet a little bit closer together. Pushing into your downward facing dog, lengthen through the spine. And then look where you're going. Step or walk or jump your feet up between your hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Ooh, let's hang here for a minute. Heel and toe the feet, hips width. Find your Uttanasana. Forward fold. <sighs> Relax your neck. Grab your opposite elbows, maybe, or let your hands hang if you prefer. And breathe. Walk forward to the balls of the feet. Walk backwards towards the heels. Maybe lift your toes up. Walk forward. Walk back. Just feel those hamstrings getting a nice deep stretch. And then side by side, just kind of walk your tail side to side. Yeah, good. And then take a deep inhale. Exhale, the hands down to the mat. You can be on your fingertips here. Bend the knees. Bend, 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 bend the knees. And then we're going to drop the head again. And we're going to push into the feet and round our body up. Up, 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 up. Squeeze the hips as you come. And through your standing, straight up and down. Bring the feet closer together. Hands come to your namaste. Okay, drop your shoulders down your back. Reconnect with the universe and the idea of your yoga practice being, oh gosh, giving best of you to the universe. Okay, that's one way to put it. That's the way I would put it. <sighs> Whatever your practice is, do it with intention in your heart for the best practice that you can do. Tuck your tailbone, pull the belly. Here we go. Inhale, the arms come up. Up to the thumbs, exhale, big swan back, forward fold. Inhale, we're going to come up halfway, arch your back and look up. Exhale, come back down, don't bend the knees, look at your knees. And then press the feet, take the arms out, come all the way up, look up to the thumbs, exhale, hands to your heart center. Very nice. Take a breath. On the exhale, arms come down, inhale up. 
Exhale, big swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold, let your neck relax and look at your knees. Rest the feet, inhale, coming up, arms come out. Pick up your thumbs, exhale, hands to your heart center. Nice. Let's take the, the, yeah, let's take the right leg straight back about three feet, three to four feet. See how that works for you. Now, immediately, this right hip wants to open. We're going to close that hip because we are facing straight ahead. We're going to see if we can square the body to the front of the room. You might need blocks here. And then we're going to take the arms up and out to the side. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to turn the palms and we're just going to bring one palm or one back of the hand and then the other back of the hand to that hand. Square your hips and your shoulders once again. Pull the belly, lift through the breastbone. And on your exhale, we're coming straight forward. Careful with your knees. Careful with your hands. See if you can be straight out parallel to the floor. Breathe. And then take a deep inhale. Exhale, release the hands, bending into that front knee. Bring the hands to the mat or to your blocks. So you're bent in this left knee. And then once you're uh, here, inhale, look up and lengthen through the spine, pull the belly once again. Pin your left hip back, right hip forward. And then as you walk your weight back to the back foot, straighten through that left leg and try to bring the nose towards your left knee. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Engage your legs, be in Tadasana here. And try not to be on a tightrope, but it should be heel to heel, or maybe the heel on your back foot is out a little bit more to give you some space for your hips. Take a deep inhale, look up and lengthen. On this exhale, step into the right hand, either the fingertips or flat. Pull that left hip back, take your right arm or your left arm up for twist. Breathe here. So you're down your back. Just hold your pose, keep the tailbone tucked, long spine, lengthen through the neck. One more, deep inhale, maybe open up a little bit more. Exhale, bring that left hand down, bend into your left knee, and step your right foot forward. Bring them together. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. Arms come out and up. Look up to the thumbs. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Ah, oh, that gives you Tadasana. Be here for just a moment. Once again, this time we're going to take the left foot and we're going to step back uh, three to four feet. Keep that left toe turned in enough that you can pull the right hip back and the left hip forward. Hands written on the stay. Try to square your entire torso to your front. Breathe. Press through the outside of that back foot as best you can. Engage your thighs. Lift the kneecaps. Engage those muscles. And then take the arms up. Straight up. Then you look up. Arms come out to the side. Palms are open, then we're going to turn the palms so that the back of the hand, one back of the hand, maybe this time your right one, and then your left one comes to that hand as well. Lift and lengthen, exhale, forward fold. See if you can take yourself parallel to the floor. Keep your right hip back, 
and the left hip forward. And the shoulders are down your back. Nice, one more deep inhale. Release the hands. Let's bring the hands down to the mat. You can bend into that right knee for a moment here. Pull that right hip back, left hip forward once again. Reestablish your pose. And then shift your weight to that back foot. Straightening through that right knee. Bring the nose to the knee and breathe. Legs are into Tadasana. Make sure that all the muscles are working for you. Try to have a flat sacrum area. It's not rounded or, or jutted out to one side or the other. Good. And then inhale, look up and lengthen. Pull that right hip back again. Step into the left hand, either the fingertips or the block or the mat and take your right arm up for twist. Lengthen through the spine. Just keep your weight on the back foot. Pick your head up and breathe. Good, one more deep inhale. Open the heart maybe a little more. Exhale, bend into your right knee as the hand comes down. Step the foot, left foot forward. Bring them together. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. And then press the feet, stand all the way up. Arms come up, pick up with the thumbs. Exhale, hands. Come to Anjali Mudra, Namaste. And Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Breathe. Good, here we go. Deep inhale, exhale, press the hands down, arms come up. Exhale, big swan leg, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bending the knees this time. Plant your hands down, step back to your push-up position. Hold your push-up for just a moment. Keep the hips lifted, breathe. Now take one more deep inhale. On the exhale, let's allow the knees to come down, which means you have to allow the hips to come down as well a little bit so that you don't move them. And then bending the elbows close to the body, let's come all the way down to the mat, point your toes and reach the legs back. Keep the legs close together. Hands come back by your ribs. Lengthen out through the top of the head. In fact, bring your forehead to the mat. Engage those legs. Curl the pelvis under, pull the belly in. On your next inhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders for small cobra. Lift. Breathe. Exhale, bring that forehead down. Take a breath, relax the legs for just a moment. Maybe wag your tail side to side if you like. And then engage those legs again. Hug these elbows into your body. Take the shoulders away from your ears. Pull the belly in, curl your pelvis under. Inhale, head, neck, and shoulders up and out. Small cobra. Breathe. And then from here, we're going to press into the hands, take your knees to the mat, come through your table, curl the toes, and press back to downward facing dog. Whew. Push it all the way back, and then step or walk or jump your feet up between the hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, stand all the way up. A few thumbs. Exhale back into Tadasana. That was a little bit of a breakdown for the sun salutation. Here we go again. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come down and out. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Big swan dive forward. Fold. 
Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step or lightly jump back to your push-up position. Now this time, come through Chaturanga, if that's doable, or go all the way to the mat. Take your Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push it back. Stretch your back. Step or walk or jump your feet up between the hands. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold or fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. Pick up your thumbs and exhale back to your Tadasana. Curl the pelvis, pull the belly. Lift through the breastbone. Breathe, just for a moment. Good. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, make swan back, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, plant your hands, step all the way back to a push up position. Hold your push up. Okay, now just hold your push up. Pull your belly in, pick up your right foot. A couple of inches, just because. Squeeze your hips. Make it strong, breathe. One more, inhale. Exhale that right foot down. Inhale your left up. Eye on the ball of that right foot, breathe. And then we'll bring it down. Exhale, roll over the tiptoes, come all the way to the mat. Boom. Turn your left cheek to the mat, arms come side, Ooh, along by your sides, palms are up. Breathe here into your belly for a moment. Good. One more, inhale, and on the exhale, pick your head up. Exhale, the forehead to the mat or to the earth. Engage your legs, engage the arms, reach back, curl the pelvis under, pull the belly in, and lift. Don Basana. Breathe. Try to bring the legs closer together, maybe. Exhale, turn your right cheek to the mat this time. Relax it down. All right, drag your tail side to side. Uh -huh. One more time, inhale. Forehead comes to the mat, okay? Engage your legs, curl the pelvis, pull the belly, lift. Reach for that back wall, Salambasana. Breathe, reach out through the neck. Try not to crave your neck. One more, deep inhale. On the exhale, bring the hands down by the chest. Let your legs come down. Now, we're gonna push up to our knees. And we're gonna put the big toes together, separate your knees, and settle back into a child's pose. Just bring it down. Get a nice stretch through the hips. And give your back a nice break. Give it a stretch. Breathe here. Get hold of your breath. Find your ujjayi. Whew. Pushing into the arms if you want to round your low back a little bit more to get a little more stretch. If I had you in class right now, I would give you a little push. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Or I might even sit on you. <laughs> yep. That's okay. We're here now. Breathe. Good. One more inhale. On the exhale, start to walk the hands up towards the torso. Keep your knees apart for right now and sit up on your heels, please. Sit up on your heels. Lengthen through the spine. Elbows and shoulders go back and lift high. Stretch out the ankles, 
tops of the feet. Good. And then as you come forward to the hands, bring the knees together this time. Curl the toes under. And let's sit back in our toe squat. Because it's important for those of us that have feet issues. Sit on your heels, heavy. Elbows and shoulders go back. Top of the head reaches up. Pull the belly in and lift up through the sternum. Breathe. And feel the stretch in those toes and the soles of the feet. Good. From here, we're going to come forward. Just roll over on your back here. Bring it down, Ooh, pull your knees into your chest. Rock and roll just a little bit side to side for a moment. Okay. From here, let's do, let's take bridge, okay? So your feet come flat to the mat, knees up. And walk, make sure the feet are only maybe you know, like six inches apart or seven, maybe, max. Walk the feet towards your buttocks and make sure then that you can just barely brush those uh, heels with your fingertips. Keep your neck grow straight off your spine, long. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna curl the pelvis under, press into the feet and press your knees away and pick up the hips big time. And then walk your shoulder blades together under your back, maybe interlace your fingers, lengthen through your neck, be on the back of your head rather than on your neck, please. Shoulders came down to the mat. Breathe. Keep pressing, lifting the hips, and breathe. One more, deep inhale. On the exhale, you can release the hands and very gently roll down one vertebra at a time. Woo. Very gently until the tailbone comes down to the mat and then you can windshield wiper your knees, maybe side to side. Hopefully you did not get into your low back here. It's important that you keep that pelvis curled under and point the tailbone straight out and up. And you want to keep that spine long through the lumbar without the arch. That's what you're looking for. One more time, deep inhale. On the exhale, press into the feet, curl the pelvis under, and lift. Lengthen through your neck. Walk the shoulder blades together. Interlace your fingers. Press into those feet and lift. And breathe. Keep the knees right over your ankles. One more, deep inhale. And very gently, very mindfully, release the hands. Let your shoulders get out of the way as you come down one vertebra at a time. Woo. Until you get all the way down to the mat. Now, those of you that have a shoulder stand, you can go right into your shoulder stand here. If you don't have a shoulder stand, you can go to the mat, go to the wall. We've done this in class. Um, those of you that have been with me, those of you that are not haven't been with me, I can show you. Let me just turn the camera a little bit, I think. Because I would like you to see how I get up the wall for shoulder stand. So let me turn this just a little bit. Good for you, Connie, that looks good. I want you to see that post right there is gonna be my wall. Okay, so those of you that would need a wall or to at least try coming up to a shoulder stand, this is how we do it, okay? Bring the mat with you to the wall. Uh-huh. Okay, 
And then sit sideways to the wall so that as you come down to your back, you tuck under and you can just slide your legs up the wall. I hope you can see me. And then you're actually, your butt should be touching the wall as well, okay? If this is as far as you want to go because you're getting a nice hamstring stretch here or something, then by all means, relax. This is a perfectly perfect pose. Legs up the wall. Uparidi Karani. Uparida Karani. Legs up the wall. And as you relax, you'll notice that you come back to your Ujjayi. Your heart will settle. Your nervous system will settle. And you'd like it to just relax. Now, if you want to go with me into the shoulder stand, then you're going to bend both knees. Your feet don't have to be very wide apart. The beginning is to press into your feet. You can keep your hands down on the mat. Start to walk your shoulders closer together already. And then as you press into the feet, you pick your hips up. Now, I pick my head up also so that the hair doesn't get stuck. So as I pick my hips up, I find that place, walk my shoulders more and my elbows closer together, walk my hands underneath the pelvic crest, pick my chin up so I'm on the back of my head, not on my neck. This is not a neck stand. And you take maybe one leg up, if that's all you can manage. Make sure your shoulders are nice and strong on the mat and that your neck is, your chin is not tucked down. Pick it up and get on the back of your head. And then maybe you'll switch legs. Take your left leg up. See if you can take it straight up to the sky, straight up to that ceiling. And if you are comfortable here, you wrap your thumb and first fingers around your waist, underneath the pelvic crest, and lift both feet straight up. This is your shoulder stand. Bring the shoulder blades closer together. Be on the tops of your shoulders. Breathe. Shoulder stand is the queen of poses. You can flex your feet if you want to. You can point your feet if you want to. Just make sure that your chin is lifted, that your neck is not on the mat, and that you have control over the pose. If for some reason you're maybe you're collapsing through the chest, maybe you're collapsing through the neck. Bring the feet back to the wall, please. And then pick your chin up and then come all the way down. Or if you feel solid, legs go up again. Just make sure you're not on your neck, please. And breathe. Woo <sighs> Nice. Mm -hmm. Keep bringing, rolling the tops of the shoulders to the mat. Breathe. One more deep inhale. If you want to, of course, you can take the legs out to the side. Turn the feet out. You can roll them back. You can roll them out. You can twist the body. And as long as you stay off your neck, right? Maybe bring both feet back together. Lift, 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 lift. Woo! And then bring the feet in to the wall. Now, press into the feet. Take your hands off. Oh, shake these hands out. Walk your shoulders out, away from each other. And let your Full torso and the sacrum come down to the mat. Shake your wrists. Okay? Flap your wrists. 
because you just put a lot of strain on them. Roll them around. Shake them as though you're going to get, you know, shake the water off of them because you don't have a paper towel to wipe them. Do a good job of it. And then make a fist and snap your fingers out. And make a fist and snap your fingers. And again, make a fist and snap your fingers. Hi there. Oh my gosh. And that's to help us with all the little fascia and the little arthritis and the little corp Corporal, carpal tunnel business or whatever. Anything that might be happening in those hands and wrists, shake it out. Keep it moving, okay? So that it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick there. You want it to be gone. Shake it, okay? And once you're here, what we're gonna do now, if you're against the wall, great. If you're not at the wall, pull your knees into your chest anyway. And then we're going to take a twist by taking the knees and the feet, arms go out to the side, and we're going to twist over to the right side, hold the knees close to your right arm, and take your gaze to the left. Once your knees and feet come down to the mat, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, your gaze goes left, and you reach out with that left arm, to bring the shoulder blade down the mat. And then relax your hips. Relax through the torso, let it get heavy. And feel this complete spinal twist. That includes your neck. Breathe. Mm. Twisting is good. We like to reset the spine by twisting. And then bring your head neutral and pick your feet up and knees up. Take them over the top and slide them over to your left. One knee on top of the other, one foot on top of the other. Take it all the way down to the earth. Once they're down, relax them. You can always put your hand on top of the thigh. If your knee tends to stay up, you can pull it down if you need to. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, reach through that right arm and take your gaze to the right. Shoulder blade, right shoulder blade comes down to the mat. And you have a complete spinal twist. Should feel lovely. Just breathe into it for just a moment. Let your hips be heavy. Let your spine and your waist be heavy. Mm. And as you're ready, you may put your legs back up the wall if you'd like to take your shavasana there. That's fine with me. Or you're going to come out of this because we're going to take another pose that counteracts the, uh, use both hands to help you come up. Very gently, very mindfully. We're going to counterpose the shoulder stand with the fish pose. Okay? We were just here with a long spine on the back of the head, legs up. To counterpose, we're going into fish. So we're going to put the Thumbs together under your butt right here, right underneath. Slide yourself, slide them underneath. And then take your shoulders and elbows back. Pull your belly in as best you can. Lift your heart. And then as you bend the elbows, you come down to the elbows. Okay? Make yourself as comfortable as you can. But keep the elbows and shoulders close together. And then if you want to, you open up your heart, you open the neck and allow it to reach back. We'll give it a counter stretch and you can even move your body, just kind of shift your weight so that maybe your legs go straight 
And maybe your hair or your head just barely brushes the mat. Breathe into your heart center. Fish pose. Ah, if your neck can go back, it feels wonderful. If your neck doesn't go back well, pick it up. Be strong about it and be careful about it. Be very gentle with yourself. Okay, as you bring the head up, then you literally move the hands and the elbows out of the way so that you can now come down to your back. You can pull the knees in if you want to and rock and roll side to side. Ah, all of this is uh, just to relax the body, relax the nervous system, get you into a place where you can find your shavasana and be comfortable. Let's take another twist. Let your left leg go straight on the mat. Bring your right one up, right arm out to the side, left hand to the outside of that right knee and pull the knee across the body. And you'll get a nice twist in your spine. Walk your shoulder blade down your back. Just be with it for a few moments. Just breathe. Don't take this knee all the way to the mat. It should be hanging in midair. Hold it with your left hand. It's fine. And allow it to breathe with the body. And then as you're ready, you're going to take your gaze up to the sky and over to the left. Look at your right foot. Push through the heel of that right foot. Straighten out the leg. Let go of that leg. Bring it all the way up. As you come back to your right hip, lay it straight up and down and bring it in. You can squeeze them both in if you need to. Or just bring the left one in, pull it, straighten through the right one. Right hand goes to the outside of that left knee, left arm out to the side, and you drag that knee across your body. Drop your shoulder blade further underneath your back on the left side. Gaze goes to the left. And breathe. And allow for your twist to breathe right along with your breath. Just to move freely. You don't have to hold it in any place particularly. Just kind of play with it a little bit and see how it feels. Start to truly relax through the body. And when you're ready, up comes the hand. You're just going to bring your face to the sky. So you're rolling it up, and then you're going to roll it to the right. Push through the heel of that left foot. Straighten out the leg. Bring it all the way up. Flop onto your left hip, and then bring that leg down. You can bring both knees in here if you'd like to. If there's anything else that you would like to do before your Shavasana, feel free to do it. Uh, maybe a happy baby if you'd like. This should feel really good. Separate your knees as wide as you can. And as you pull straight down on these feet, bring the knees towards the mat. And keep your lumbar spine and your sacrum on the mat. So your entire spine is long on the mat, except for your neck, of course. The back of your head is there, so keep your chin lifted. You do not want the neck to be down on the mat at all. Pull straight down on the feet as you press down to your sacrum. Breathe into your entire body. Torso. 
pushing the breath out to the feet, out to the hands, through the brain and that face, the neck and the shoulders. Connect the nose. Exhale out the mouth. If you want to go any further, you take your peace fingers around those big toes, straighten through the knees, and push the heels towards the bottom of the mat. And allow your arms to get a nice stretch through the shoulders. Breathe. Can rock if you like to. All you have to do is pull down on one foot or the other, and your hips will rock. And sometimes it feels really good, and sometimes you'd rather just stay there. Whatever feels good to you. Get hold of your breath. Notice your heart settling down. Notice your nervous system settling down. Bring the feet in, bend your knees. You can squeeze them in again if you'd like, and anything else you might like to do. Otherwise, the legs are going to go straight, flat on the mat. Separate them comfortably, and allow the feet to splay out to the side. And then, Arms, walk your shoulder blades a little bit underneath your back so that they go flat on your back and flat on the mat. And then the arms just come comfortably away from the torso, palms open. Shavasana is the only pose in yoga. You do not have to pay attention to do Hopefully, by now, by here, by this point, your nervous system and your heartbeat, heart rate have come down. And you settle into the rhythm of your body. So just be with that. You don't have to force your breath. Use the breath if your mind wanders. You focus on your breath to come back in. Do not let your mind go anywhere, but right here. Stand your body. Make sure that there's no place in the body that you are gripping or holding any muscle. Be very thorough about that. Relax your face. Maybe a little smile on the lips. Is there any other place in your body that could possibly relax more? Begin to bring your attention back to your breathing. Deeper inhale, please. And maybe rock your head side to side as you wake up your fingers and toes. Just 
Move them around a little bit. Take a deep stretch if you like. Arms overhead. Stretch your body. And then, as you bend the knees, roll it over to your right side for just a moment. Be there if you like. Take your time. When you're ready, you'll continue to roll until both hands can help you up to an easy seated position. Cross leg position if that's doable for you. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Touch the thumbs right into the sternum. Take a deep inhale. Bow your head. Scan your body and see how you're feeling right now. And thank yourself for being here today. And I thank you very much for being here today. Quite a discipline, your yoga practice. Take a moment with me, please. Send out your love and thoughts and prayers to the people on this planet that are suffering. Send them your highest vibration for peace, for love, for compassion. Thank you. The divine light within me honors the divine light within you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much. Yay. Thank you for a good practice. Oh, thank you. See you tomorrow. How'd you feel with your fish? Good? Am I muted? No. You can hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh. I, um, like fish. I liked it. Okay. It, and you felt, it felt right to you. Then. Yeah, it felt good. It felt right. Okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 See okay. you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>